Hello, children. So nice to see you all listening to these online catechism classes. I am Sister Susan of the Divine Mercy Parish, Vadigaon Sheri. Dear children, you are all preparing to receive First Holy Communion. Your catechism teachers have already started with online classes to help you prepare for this great event. Today, I too am going to speak to you on Jesus, your friend and guide. Let's begin with a prayer. Join your hands, close your eyes, and repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, I praise and thank you for the gift of life you have given me. Thank you, dear God, for my parents, sisters and brothers and all my teachers who love me and are helping me to prepare myself to receive you in Holy Communion. Come, Lord Jesus, come.
children, think of someone very dear to you besides your family, an uncle, an aunt, a friend who may be abroad and whom you have not met for a very long time. Suddenly, you get a call from this person that she or he is coming to your house to visit you. You run to tell your neighbors and friends. Oh, you are all excited and can hardly wait for that great day to come. Your parents too are very excited and prepare for the coming. At last the day comes and your uncle or aunt arrives. You are so happy. You hug him or her and cry for joy. He too is very happy and has brought you lots of gifts and chocolates. Your uncle or aunt stays with you for some time and you are happy to be with him to speak and play with you. Now, dear children, you are preparing yourself to receive a far more greater friend than your uncle or aunt. He is Jesus Christ. He loves you, children, and longs to come to you in Holy Communion. Let me tell you a true story, dear children, that will highlight the importance of the Eucharist and show you how the Mass that you participate in every Sunday brings rich blessings to you and your family. The story is entitled, The Weight of the Holy Mass. You will never want to miss Mass after you listen to this true story. There was once a poor old woman who walked into a butcher's shop. The butcher was talking to his friend a captain of the forest department. Seeing the old woman, the butcher asked her what she wanted. She had come to beg for a little meat, but had no money. The captain was amused at the woman and the butcher. She said, I am sorry. I have no money, but I'll hear mass for you. Both were indifferent about religion. So they at once began to scoff at the woman's idea. All right then, said the butcher, you go and hear mass for me. And when you come back, I'll give you as much as the mass is worth. The woman left the shop to attend mass. After mass, the woman returned and approached the counter and the butcher said, all right, then we'll see. He took a slip of paper and wrote on it, I heard a mass for you. He placed the paper on the scales and a tiny bone on the other side, but nothing happened. Next, he placed a piece of meat, but still the paper proved heavy. Both men were beginning to feel ashamed of their mockery but continued their game. A large piece of meat was placed on the balance, but still the paper held its own. The butcher was exasperated. Examine the scales, 
but found they were all right. What do you want, my good woman? Must I give you a whole leg of mutton? At this, he placed the leg of mutton on the balance, but the paper outweighed the meat. A larger piece of meat was put on, but again the weight remained on the side of the paper. This so impressed the butcher that he was converted and promised to give the woman her daily ration of meat. As for the captain, he left the shop a changed man and became an ardent lover of daily mass. Two of her sons became priests, one a Jesuit and the other a father of the sacred heart. Father Stanislaus finished the story by saying, I am from the religious of the sacred heart and the captain was my father. He advised us to say mass well every day and never miss the sacrifice of the mass through any fault of our own. Dear children, after hearing this story, I am sure your longing for mass and to receive him in Holy Communion will have increased. So then, dear children, what is the Eucharist? The Eucharist, dear children, is not just a symbol like you have symbols at Mass, the chalice, the host, the wine, etc., but a real presence of Jesus. At the Last Supper and at every Mass, we hear the words of Jesus, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Take, drink, this is my blood shed for you. Do this in memory of me. The Eucharist, dear children, strengthens our faith and hope. There was once a sick priest who was extremely patient. One day, a physician had to perform a painful operation on him. Not hearing the sick man complain, the doctor asked him where he got the strength and patience to bear such pain. The reply was, Doctor, two of us are sharing the suffering. Today, God has come down to me in Holy Communion and I am sharing my suffering with him. The feast of the most precious body and blood of Jesus was instituted by Pope Urban IV. The feast was already celebrated in Belgium at the request of Saint Juliana, a holy nun to whom our Lord appeared in a vision and made known his wish. This feast is known as Corpus Christi, body and blood of Christ, and is celebrated on the second Sunday after Pentecost. Children, you must have heard in your history class, or you may soon learn about Napoleon Bonaparte in the early 19th century. One day, his generals were discussing and comparing their master's great battles and victories. They wanted to know which was the happiest day of his life. They thought of the very great battles and victories that he had won. But the emperor looked very thoughtful for a while and said, the happiest day of my life 
was the day of my first Holy Communion. I was near to God then. In the Eucharist, Christ lets us feed most intimately on the divine life, which makes us blood relations. That will surely be the happiest day of your life when Jesus enters your heart. Dear children, when we eat ordinary bread, our body digests and assimilates it. But when we eat this living bread, the Eucharist, the living Christ transforms us by giving us his life and uniting us to himself. Jesus was broken his body for us on the cross. The Eucharist is a clarion call to all of us to be broken and shared. We have so many examples of persons like Oscar Romero, Rani Maria, Max Millen Kolbe, Graham Staines, who shed their blood that others may live. They represent the modern bodies of Christ. Their lives being truly Eucharistic. Dear children, let us now listen to the song on the Eucharist. <laughs> 